supporting early year programs through staff and community members. And she will bring to us a message on National Indigenous Peoples Day, sharing her experiences as an Indigenous woman in Canada, and sharing her hope as we travel along the path of reconciliation toward right relations. The following Sunday, we will celebrate Pride Sunday. And then on July 3rd, we will celebrate once again the Sacrament of Baptism, where I get the privilege and joy of baptizing my grandson, Leo. And Nancy has an announcement that she would like to make. Okay. Uh, I, many of you will remember, we're here for the Black History Month in February when Karen uh, was talking about several different people, uh, many of them related. Well. One of them was Doug Hudlin, who was a uh, referee in that for the uh, umpire. league. Umpire. umpire. So, uh, yeah, you can tell I'm a big baseball fan. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, so, uh, uh, today at um, the park, Centennial Park there, they're unveiling a plaque to him. Uh, so, uh, then having a baseball game with uh, all money, donated money is going to the um, uh, youth baseball. The youth baseball, <laughs> anyway. There's a special name for it, but that that'll be at twelve thirty. If anybody is able to go, yes. Um, I read that in the paper this morning, Nancy. Yeah. Uh, I thought it said it was at the National Park, which is the Little League Park at the corner of Hillside and Cedar Hill Road. Yeah. Yeah, it's right. Um, do you know where the uh, orphanages be? It's sort of on that corner mm -hmm. there. Now I could be wrong. Okay, so maybe we have to check yeah. it out. I, it, I just I we were just reading it before we came. Here, here, so I mentioned it to Bob, so maybe I I've got the details. I'm sure if you Google it, you'll find yeah, it. Yeah, you Google it, you'll find it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you. It's okay. better that people know. Thank you. Are there any other announcements or celebrations, anniversaries, birthdays? Bruce? Well, Frank couldn't be here this morning, but she did turn 39 again yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> any other birthdays? So shall we sing for Brenda then? Okay. Brenda, we're thinking of you. service. It's Paul McCartan's birthday on June 18th when he will turn 80 years of age. Soon to become Lord Paul McCartan. <laughs> Any other announcements or celebrations to share? Right here. Yes! Anytime we have worship is a celebration. <laughs> Like this candle to remind us of the presence of Christ. May the light of love surround us. As we sing this first selection from Beatles music, Here Comes the Sun, you might consider not only the sun in the sky, but the sun of our hearts. God's Son, Jesus Christ. The lyrics will show up on the screen. Here comes the sun to deal. Here comes the sun to save. 
each other, sing songs and hymns and spiritual songs to God with thankful hearts. The Beatles were skeptical of and even dismissive of the church, yet many of their core beliefs, love, peace, hope, freedom, honesty, transcendence, and the songs that expressed these beliefs were in their case secularized versions of Christian teaching. The song, Let It Be, is one such song. The message of the song and the event that inspired it are meaningful. Here's the story in Paul McCartney's words. One night, during a tense time, I had a dream I saw my mom, who'd been dead for 10 years or so. And it was so great to see her, because that's the wonderful thing about dreams. You're actually reunited with the person for a second, there they are, and you appear to both be physically together again. It was so wonderful for me, and she was very reassuring. In the dream, she said, it'll be all right. I'm not sure if she used the words, let it be, but that was the gist of her advice. It was, don't worry too much. It will turn out okay. It was such a sweet dream, I woke up thinking, oh, it was really great to visit with her again. I felt very blessed to have that dream. So that got me writing the song, Let It Be. I literally started off Mother Mary, which was her name, when I find myself in times of trouble, which I certainly found myself in at the time. The song was based on that dream. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. 
Reading from Psalm 57, the message version. I'm ready, God. So ready. Ready from head to toe. Ready to sing. Ready to raise a tune. Ironically, perhaps, in the next song, John is ready. So very ready to sing a song to the divine. John wrote that the theme for the song is love for everything. The search for something that is superior to us in order to be at peace with ourselves and with our universe. And the refrain, I'm sure I'm not saying it right, Jai Guru Deva Om. Jai. Okay. Jai. Jai, okay. Means hail to the heavenly teacher across the universe. to the violent tactics espoused by members of the new left revolution. There will be um, some sing-along, the words that are in bold on the PowerPoint, those are the words to sing along with, okay? <laughs>
hey, give me them chords backwards. And I wrote, because, on top of it. I don't know whether it was Beethoven or something. Then, in the background, Yoko's voice is heard saying, it was Moonlight Sonata. Because. So the Moonlight Sonata starts like this, right? Here's how this cause starts.
Thanks so much. What a man, eh? When Moses met God face to face, his appearance was transformed. He glowed with the reflection of God's glory. We are a people who have hung our faith on the belief that God transforms. Water into wine, faith into works, gifts into mission. By God's grace, may our gifts offered in love have transformative power in the church and in the world. <coughs> Thank mm -hmm. percussion of our feet on the steps. The sounds of our day so familiar we hardly pay attention. Thank you for the ability to hear. Thank you for the sounds of life, the chatter of the squirrel, the deep purr of a cat, the sharp calls of a blue jay, the sound of someone we love laughing. Give us wisdom to enter this day with good sounds, tones and pitches and words that affirm, encourage, cherish. Our sounds affecting the world in a positive way. We pray for all who sing a sad song today, the grieving, the lonely, the troubled, the lost, the sick. We pray for those recovering from surgery or anticipating surgery or medical treatment. We pray for those who have lost their voice and feel silenced or oppressed. There are many singing freedom songs around our world, O oh God, and so today we pray for the safety of these singers. Give their song the strength to convince and convert, the power to ward off discrimination, violence, war. There are too many war songs, O oh God. We don't want to hear another one. Thank you for your songs. 
love songs which we are invited to sing. Thank you for all the parts you've made for the song. Soprano, alto, tenor, bass. Thank you for the children's part and the seniors part. Thank you for the youth part and the part for middle agers. Thank you for the crazy baby desk hat that we all love to hear. Thank you for the singers and musicians of our church. Thanks to Amy, our music director, gifted singer and pianist. To our choir, Helen, Ruth, Barbara, Lissa, Pat, and others who join us from time to time. And for all in our congregation whose voices sing out, and those who don't sing with their voices, but still do with their hearts. God, you are holy mystery, beyond complete knowledge, above perfect description. Yet in love, you, the eternal God, seek relationship. So you created the universe, and with it the possibility of being and relating. You tend the universe, O God, mending the broken and reconciling the estranged. You enliven the universe, guiding all things toward harmony with their source. Grateful for your loving action, we cannot keep from singing. You are the great composer. We long to be composed each day in your image, singing your elegant score truly, clearly, following your rhythm by heart, finding our voice in your beautiful world, hearing you in the music of life. This prayer we offer to our Lord and Savior Jesus, who taught us this prayer. We now say aloud and together. Our Father, our Mother, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Paul McCartney drew inspiration for the next song, We Can Work It Out, from his relationship with actress Jane Asher. While a song about love between two persons in a relationship, it can well apply to relationships within groups, including faith communities. <clears throat> when arguments occur that have the potential to damage relationships, we are called to try and work it out in loving, caring ways. <laughs> Yeah. 
Go forth into the world with joy and celebration. For God blesses us with music in our ears and in our hearts. God blesses us in good times and times of trouble with a song of love that never lets us go. For such love we give God thanks and grace. And now may God who created us in love, Christ who shows us how to love, and the Spirit that sings our love into the world be with us now and forever. Amen. And our going forth song is the only not Beatles song. <laughs> Imagine 